this. Let's go over to trend mean. This is uh, mentioned in the textbook and the notes and comments section. All right, so the trimmed mean, this is an alternative method to say median. Median is great because if you have extreme values, it gives you the one in the middle. Well, this gives you a uh, arithmetic mean, but it's trimmed. You remove 5% of the smallest and largest values from the data set. F in this example, it could be 5 or 10% or whatever particular uh, percentage you choose. Then calculate the mean. The first thing is to count our values equals count. The count function counts numbers. Click there, control shift down arrow, and then shift enter. That puts the formula in the cell and jumps your cursor up. Up number of values to drop for both the big and the small equals whatever the count is times whatever our chosen uh, rate is. So 1.85, well, we can't drop that, so we round up. And there's a function called round up. So round up. Now, the round functions round, round up, round down. You always select a number to round, and then comma, number of digits. If you're going to the penny, which for dollars amounts you like to do, you put a two. But if you're going to the integer, or if you're doing income taxes, you always round to the, the ones position, you got to put a zero here. Now, what if you can't remember that? A great trick in Excel is if you don't know how to use your uh, your function just by reading the screen tip, you can click here, and it will give you some hints. See, there's a hint. It tells you what the number is, and here, number of digits is the number of digits which you want to round. Negative rounds to the left of the of the decimal point zero or omitted to the nearest integer. So uh, notice it says to the left is uh, negative to the right is positive. That's why pennies, one, two to the right of the decimal is the number two. If that's sometimes not clear enough, you can click on this right here, help on this function. Hey, if you're uh, taking a test and you forget how to use your function, boy, is this a great trick. Uh, for whatever function, it's all here, and they have lots of examples. Even they're more explicit here. Even down here, they have some uh, examples, um, giving you an example of each type of situation. I'm going to close this help. I'm going to close this. Uh, I'm going to click OK. So there it is. We have two. Now, the trimmed mean, the quick and dirty way to do this is to just highlight uh, your data. There's a two there. That means these two on the, the low end and the top two are going to be thrown out. And then you're going to calculate your average. So you ready? Equals average. Click here and then click and drag. Now if you had, uh, and then there it is. You exclude the two bottom and the two top. That's the quick and easy way. Now. Uh, there are other methods to do this that are dynamic. Um, that way you could change the uh, whatever rate you have up here and they would could change, but it's beyond the uh, Excel scope in our class. Uh, but uh, there it is. There's average using the offset function that defines a variable range. And then uh, if you wanted to, you could use sum large. Oh, that's a yucky one. That's very complicated. But you could uh, look at these. You have to enter those two with Control Shift Enter and then put that formula in. Oh, yuck. That's a terrible method. If you had to do it dynamic, I'd do it that way. But um, there it is. That's that's the cheap and easy way uh, for us in this class, uh, since we don't know how to use uh, offset and whatnot. All right, there you go. There's a lot about averages. Remember, th why do we have averages? Because we oftentimes need a typical value, a value that somehow seems like a middle value, a central value that we can use to uh, use in discussions, reports, budgetings, and things like that. So that's a lot about average. When we uh, come back, we'll talk about uh, percentile, quartile rank, and percentile rank. All right, see you next video.